Hi, and thanks for returning to Coin Lady Channel. Here is the one day chart once more. Here we are, slightly over 63 cents. Another successful day for XRP. Additionally, the story is gradually changing around XRP as we begin to march upward. You know, last week there were calls for these significant retreats, and then we took off. People are suddenly stating that we're going to take off from here. And the reason this occurs is that no one can predict with certainty what will occur next. While Bitcoin is dozing off, XRP is booming. You get the idea. We adore crypto because of this. Given that you never know what can occur next, it is best to believe that this is the first shoe on XRP. Since Rohani frequently posts my movies on Next, Rohani and I wanted to thank him. We also wanted to thank everyone else who shares my videos on Axe. I'm far too modest to do it so I don't do it. I am also the worst critic of myself. So please accept my gratitude for everything that you do. You know, he's not entirely incorrect. I was just looking at XRP when I suddenly looked at the Bitcoin chart and thought, wow, Bitcoins aren't moving. However, you already know that XRP will eventually soar to the top and overtake Bitcoin. Watch and see. This is related to the Bank of Ireland smoke from two days ago, digital innovation is developing quickly. Services based on cryptocurrency are taking the place of traditional operational processes with blockchain functionality. We're advancing through the fourth industrial revolution, which explains why digital innovation is accelerating so quickly globally right now. And the general public is genuinely unaware of the current situation. And it's going down really fast. Furthermore, the price of one cryptocurrency over another consumes the attention of even those in the industry. Examine the far larger picture. The current era is the fourth industrial revolution, and a significant portion of it will involve some cryptocurrency. Your money should be invested there. Listen to this live demonstration of XRP, Corda Settler, as it demonstrates the intrinsic value of XRP to our threes. Your duty is represented by this. Return a revised obligation. As a result, you can see that the obligation is now 27. 1 XRP in terms of XRP. Thus, our 3 is utilizing XRP. Many people, especially former DC investors, find that unpleasant to hear and don't appreciate the concept. So, I would like to provide you all a better understanding of this. XRP is now being used for transactions. Utilizing XRP, eventually, they will also use XTC for transactions occurring within the realm of digital trade. There is no conflict between these digital currencies. In the upcoming financial system, they will collaborate together. David Schwartz supports the two-point XRP ledger swiftly. Validators validate the one. Zero adoption. The XRP ledger's reference server has been updated to enhance security, dependability, and overall performance of the ledger. One of the most important changes is the emphasis on transaction security, particularly when it comes to digital collectibles. By strengthening the regulations governing these transactions, the update seeks to strengthen the integrity of digital asset exchanges on the platform and reduce any potential weaknesses. It appears that an additional update to the XRP ledger is on the horizon. It is anticipated to occur by March 5th, the bank's own SWIFT and we at Ripple are here to support the banks. All it takes to begin using XRP and RippleNet is for one of Swift's customers to do so. Suddenly, every other Swift client will want to join the bandwagon as well, fearing that they will fall behind if they don't. However, I continue to think that Ripple and Swift will collaborate to push forward. Modified briefing schedule approved by the breaking SEC vs Ripple court. The following is the new schedule for court briefings. The SEC has until March 22 to submit its remedy-related brief. The SEC must submit its reply brief by May 6, and Ripple has until April 22 to file its remedy-related brief. Thus, the much-anticipated big day is scheduled for sometime in May. Now that I see it that way, and it might be the moment XRP appears. Last but not least, finally break free from the SEC and soar like never before, not that it can't happen sooner. You know. When the SEC settles, there will be ripple effects that none of us will see coming. It seems like XRP is about to take off. You must therefore always be holding a group of seven states, including Montana, 
contested the SEC's jurisdiction to regulate cryptocurrencies as securities. They contend that the SEC's ecosystem theory went too far and endangers the state's current consumer protection legislation. You are aware of the situation? The states understand that while the SEC is impeding innovation, they are also impeding cryptocurrency. Additionally, the retail investor, the same individuals they are supposed to safeguard, is being held back by them. That's what they do. They don't want anything to put them ahead of the major banks. Which is why, the banks are likely to fall behind as soon as cryptocurrency has a clear, unrestricted path ahead. And their greatest fear is just that. The politicians' desire to see cryptocurrency destroyed stems from the same motivation, they want you to stop transferring your funds from traditional banks and start investing in cryptocurrency at the same time. In a rare display of support, the founder of Cardano backs the XRP attorney. To be honest, I was taken aback when Charles expressed his support for Johnny Deaton, but it's encouraging to see that as well. This whole crypto space, you know, has to unite. Gary Gensler is the one opponent we all have in common. We have to quit battling it out in the cryptocurrency space. Here's how it currently operates, someone invests money in one cryptocurrency, but then notices that another may be rising faster than the one they were originally invested in. What do they do after that? They venture out and discover all those other cryptocurrencies. And everyone wants their coin to be a part of both of those and this. Listen. The crypto community needs to quit fighting with each other and focus on investing in the appropriate coins as a new financial system is going to emerge. We could all get along and agree on something in this way. ADA will be integrated into the forthcoming financial system. Additionally, XRP will be a component of the future financial system. There's no more justification for arguments over it. After only 500 million XRP were unlocked in March. Ripple locks 800 million XRP in escrow. What's going on with this? I have no idea. It was reported by someone that all 1 billion tokens were released. Although they bought back 800 million XRP on March 1st. Some individuals claim that they only unlocked 500 million. As a result, I'm not sure what the real status of this entire escrow problem is at this point. But I will provide you with an update. However, we are aware that Ripples are repurchasing XRP due to market demand. The function of XRP escrow. According to experts, XRP escrow plays a part in making XRP a universal reserve currency. Some folks now want to burn the entire escrow they wish to burn with the XRP. However, as I always remind people, that won't really drive up the price of XRP. In response to a popular rumor that Ripple would burn through all of the XRP in escrow, Farina brushed it off as ridiculous and emphasized the crucial role that escrow tokens play. Developing this idea, according to Farina's speculation, if significant organizations such as the IMF or the BEST had previously acquired a significant share in the escrow, it might suggest that XRP was always meant to function as a worldwide reserve currency. This is my perspective on it. I believe Ripple established an agreement with the central banks a long time ago, possibly the BEST being the IMF the Fed, the ECB, and so on. I believe they will turn over the escrow to them and negotiate a contract over that escrow. Because XRP performs a function that is truly unique among cryptocurrencies. Money doesn't make bridges. The only other cryptocurrency that I can think of that targets a different market while operating somewhat similarly is XLM. And that boils down to the idea that, while you're correct that there are too many XRP tokens, 100 billion, that may not be sufficient. However, not if you're trying to resolve a multi-trillion dollar issue. That concludes the video. As always, please like and subscribe. Bye, and see you soon.